What's up guys, subject of today's episode covers highly demanded US coins sold at auctions, low denomination, high denomination, bullion, key date, mint error, and other pinnacles of US coinage. Starting with his 1983 Lincoln Senate Mid-State 62 Red and Brown, very rare transitional error coin, a transitional alloy mint error, reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper cent. Though the zinc plated steel cent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper cent planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed sometime later. An orange red and apple green example that has good strike. A miner of worse abrasion sold on December 6, 2013 for $23,500 at Heritage Auctions. Here is proof 2007W quarter owns Platinum Eagle or $25, absolute numismatic gem at proof grade of 70 with deep cameo designation. The 2007W quarter owns Platinum Eagle has a mintage of a little more than 6000, but both guidebook and cherry pickers agree that only 21 pieces were inadvertently struck without a mirrored finish within freedom. Cherry Pickers implies the template for die finishing was changed intentionally, which would make the variety a pattern. This argument is bolstered by existence of similarly rare Frosted Freedom varieties for the half ounce and one ounce 2007W Platinum Eagles, sold on September 6, 2019, for $43,200 at Heritage Auctions. Hopping on to this 1961 Franklin Half Dollar, grade as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS, a top graded registry set rarities, a 1961 Franklin Half Dollar proof in PR69 Deep Cameo is great rarity, an item of unsurpassed desirability among registry set collectors. The present coin offers frost white luster on pristine devices, which seem to float atop of liquid like mirroring of the fields which are devoid of toning. Sold on January 4th, 2018 for $40,800 at Heritage Auctions. Here is relatively modern penny, 1995 Lincoln sent with double live burst, grade at mid 69 rate by PCGS, with FS101 designation for its doubling, Dazzling registry set ready scent that displays peach gold and ruby red coloration over nearly perfect sharply struck surfaces. Strong doubling on Libert is readily visible, as well as on In God We Trust. This variety took the numismatic world by storm in 1995 and fostered a nationwide search that yielded very few examples in such high grade. Sold on January 4, 2017 for $552.50 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1980p Kennedy Alf Dollar at Mint State 65 struck on 1979p Susan Anthony Dollar, otherwise called double denomination error coin. The present lot is the only known Kennedy Alf Dollar struck over Anthony, over an Anthony Dollar. Also unusual is that Two different dates are involved. Most of the eagle and Anthony portrait from the undertype survived the strike between half dollar dies. Much of the Anthony dollar date is readable on the clouds of the half dollar rivers. The half dollar mint mark is bold and half dollar date is partial, although unquestionably 1980. The dollar mint mark appears near the eagle's right wing tip. Sold on January 6, 2016 for 22,000. $325 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mean Strike Series, otherwise called SMS Nickel, graded as SP67 Plus Full Steps by PCGS. The SMS 1964 Jefferson Nickel is rare. PCGS designates as a Special Mint Set coin. Also, the five coin sets of satin finish 1964 coinage. 
that survived in the early 1990s are, are not known to have ever been in any special packaging from the mint. An official coinage of special mint sets did not occur until 1965. The satin finish is readily observed on this high-end superb gem, complementing a delicate tinge of light of champagne. Sold on April 25, 2019 for $22,800 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1955D Washington Quarter with beautifully toned surfaces, 1955D has the lowest mintage of any circulation strike Washington Quarter from 1950 from 1941 through the end of classic 90% silver series in 1964, this exquisite superb gem exhibits sweeping crescents of vivid multicolored toning around the peripheries that yield to off-center swirls of pinkish silver tinting in and around the centers, sharply struck, expertly preserved, and easily the most desirable example of the issue. Sold for $13,200 in 2021 at Stax Powers. This undated Walking Liberty of Dollar at Mint Stage 64 struck on a steel sand planchet. On the present coin, the mint mark and date are off the flan, but it was presumably struck in 1943 or 1944, since nearly all steel sands bear the former date and Belgium 2 franc pieces are dated 1944. The centering favors the motifs at the expense of the legend, so much of In God We Trust is present, as is U.S. in Pluribus. The Eagle and Liberty are, are present except for extremities. The luster is silky and both sides are void of abrasions. Though minor dull gray specks are scattered, sold in 2013 for $44,062.50 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1992 Lincoln Sandwich Close AM on reverse. Grade as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. The Close or Wide AM refers to the distance between A and M in America on struck coins. When A and M are almost touching, this is known as Close AM. Another characteristic that's used to differentiate these rare coins from others of the same year is the distance of reverse designers' initials, FG from the right side on the memorial. On close AM sand, the initials are farther away from the memorial than on the wide AM sands, a near gem example of this elusive modern K issue, important as a guidebook variety and widely sought by Lincoln sand specialists. The cherry picker's reference notes that the reverse design of 1993 was employed on some circulation strike 1992 sands. Sold on November 20, 2022 for $22,800 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1995 W Silver Eagle or $1 coin, absolute gem graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. For the 10th anniversary of the American Eagle Bullion program, in 1995 US Mint issued 5-piece set of coins including the 4 gold denomination and the Silver Eagle in proof format. The coins were struck at the West Point Mint and all have the W Mint mark because the coins are because the coins were sold only in sets with high price of $999 per set. The mintage of West Point issues was limited and only 30,125 sets were sold. Accordingly, the 1995 W is the low mintage king of the Silver Eagle series. Sold on February 26, 2015 for 30,000 $27.13 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter, grade at Miste 67 Plus, full head with CAC approval. A simply outstanding coin that's of immense importance in today's quality conscious market. This jaw dropping spurred gem is the finest known 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter. The coin possesses truly memorable eye appeal. The lower and right peripheral areas on a verse adorned with crescent of vivid golden olive and reddish orange colors. The strike is essentially complete by standards of issue and not even Liberty's head reveals any significant lack of detail. Sold in 2010 for $195,500 at Stacks Bowers.